Uh, I'm liking Shane and Tyler here as a pairing. Uh, I think Tyler's a very structured player, methodical, gives everything to every shot. Shane's a bit more of a flow player. But I think they're going to work well together. Yeah, you need to get that one ball yeah. right here. Just spin that ball. This is a great team, and I think, obviously, off of that last victory, that, that was a massive point for the USA. And they've just got to keep that momentum going here. Oh, a little bit too hard there. I'd be happy with that. Do you take this combination on, or is it a bit, a little bit hairy? It's a little bit hairy. It depends how you feel. I mean, you can, you can, can, you can play. One back up the wall just I was going to say, if you listen to him, he's talking about if banking the one back. He's, he's playing ball, more tactical, yeah, banking the one back up the other end of the table. A it's a little bit risky, I think, that combo. Not quite close enough to the pocket, and we are playing on the four-inch pocket, so they need to make a decision or call their extension, which they just did. Albin's a real calm, collected mm. player. He really is. His, his composure and, and so on is, is noteworthy. Well, he's a multiple just, champion in these match the events. He absolutely loves them. He's dominated many of them. That was really nicely played because it was hard to avoid that double kiss there. But that was definitely the right shot, I think this equipment and at this stage of the match. Can he roll this in? Shane has such a good kind of slow roll stroke, but this looks a hair steep, maybe? It is a little bit, isn't it? It's a thinner cut than you'd like to roll, really. Um, tricky. Perhaps two rails into the eight flush is possible. Did you mention the word flush then? Isn't that something that <laughs> is more, more in your game? That was a beauty. That was a, such a tough shot. He made that look so easy. And he really did. A lot trickier than it looks to and roll that, it in like that. Not well, he's, it on a, he's a tremendous player and the, back, the backbone of a team, really. And uh, mm. that's why he's world champion. Nicely done. Touch thin. Yeah, but when you've got Shane there right by your side, I've, I've actually partnered Shane in doubles before, and it's just amazing. These these shots are his bread and butter shots. Crisscross the table. Just nicks the seven. Indeed, his stroke is a, an all-time stroke in the history of the game, and, and the way he jumped out of the gate in the first team match was. Noteworthy, he was he was really dialed in. Well, you know, he's a guy that can create momentum for the team too. A lot of people put a lot of weight on Shane's shoulders and uh, you know in past Moscones he hasn't always come up to par as far as playing for a team. But the last few years he's definitely got a lot better at that and uh, there's a lot more camaraderie I think among the US players. Give me an angle. Do you hear what you said? Give me an angle. I sure <laughs> that's, did. that's all I want. Give me <laughs> he an didn't angle. mince words there. I love it. It's lovely hearing them mic'd up. He didn't say what sort of angle, did he? No, he it was a cool angle. tidbit. Yeah, <laughs> just, just leave me one. So all we can gather from that is don't leave me straight in. Exactly. Ask and you shall receive. That's right. And he got his angle. And he's just going <laughs> to play two rails here. In and out. Nice. Medium shot down to the nine ball. Part of the pocket there. Great the start pocket. for the Americans. And the crowd lets them hear it, Allison. Oh, they're getting behind it because now the momentum has shifted back to the US, so the crowd are right behind this. <laughs> Tyler takes the nine ball, puts one on the board for the USA. The audience are loving this. Yeah, 
saw their teammates here, Jeremy Jones and Oscar Dominguez, pumping them up. There we see Albin and uh, Jason. Nothing they could do there. But that game was from a lovely, long, slow shot that Shane made. Clutch shot. Very much so. And a huge point, naturally, for Europe down 1-2 to close out the day. Yeah, has a nicer that, ring to it than three to one. Definitely. I mean, the doubles, the teams, you never know what way they're going to go because it just depends how people gel together and momentum shifts. I mean, in that last singles match, we saw um, Skyler make a 2-9 combo. He had a yeah. golden break all at the right time. Yeah. And that's what it's about. It's the timing of everything. And you never know because the first nine he missed. But he didn't get really punished for that. He ended up winning the match. So... Superb for the US, and it's put a little heat on Europe now. Ocean set to break. Let's see if he can make that one ball inside. There it goes. Look at that. Has he left a shot for Jason? I don't think so on the two ball. So question is, do you play a little kick and stick or do you push out? Which he's eyeing up right now. He's looking around to where to place the cue ball if he does push out. What's the gain? He's sort of discussing that with Albin. Yeah, much. Bank the six across the white right here. That is, we can see the red three they're obstructs the blue two. two. Anyway. What speaks to you, Alison, here? Yeah. Well, I think what they're discussing is to where to place push. the cue ball. The push out is done after the break, of course. If you make a ball, you're still at the table. If you can't see the next shot, you can push out. It's like a safety shot. But the opponents can put you back in if they wish, or you can take the shot. That six ball dropping in the pocket is irrelevant. It stays down, doesn't respot. So now we're going to see if Shane and Tyler like this shot, which I think there's an easy safe here if you spin off the right side of the two. It might have been a little bit of a mistake to leave Shane the right side of the two. He's looking at it now. It's close as far as if he can see it. Yeah, past because the eight. yeah, he can push that two towards the five there on the side rail, and the two behind the nine in that area. Nice speed there. Sometimes you're not left with great choices. You just take what's there. And uh, played that very well. They've got Europe in trouble now. It's not hard to hit the two. It's hard to control what happens. Do you get cute and just roll up on I it? I think or? so. I think it's a roll because uh, the way the balls are spread, you want to keep the two and that five ball together. And that's an absolutely yeah. beautiful shot he played there. He couldn't have played that any better. But now he can still find himself in trouble. Jason will now. He's just going to thin this using that little tangent line there. But he has to make sure he hits the rail with that two there. There we go. Hits the rail. Has he left a, an edge or not? I've left a little edge here. Still quite precarious, even if he has. Yes, because there's nothing to hide behind at the other end of the table. It would be a pace shot. Or do you do the same again, come off the rail and play into them soft? I mean, that's... You have to make these decisions. Extension declared. A wise choice. It's a big shot, this, because the way the, the balls are open, the rest of the balls, does he open these up now? Yeah, it's a dangerous shot. Great speed in regards to the cue ball. 
yeah, I'll take that. That's made this shot a lot more difficult. That was, uh, that was a good shot considering where he was. Did Shane look at the 2-9 two, two there? I believe he did, Glance. He had a look, he didn't did. he? Because he, he might be thinking the four ball's possible too. Off of the, if he goes for that 2-9, could he clip the four and make it? Well, that was a... I don't know what to say about that shot. That was tough. He was uh, obviously trying to hold the two in between there, and it's leaked out, so... Tremendous look for Sean Ocean. Yeah, I'd be a bit upset with that, Shane, by shaking his head there. Slightly the wrong side of that. A little bit, a bit awkward. Actually, I was thinking of the wrong ball. There. I was getting them mixed up again. You know, the, the, the pink <laughs> This purple, one's still a little purple. bit awkward to me. Do you like pinching it back or just roll down preference wise? I think the pinch is fine. Or the roll. Just depends <laughs> what you like. This gives him a more natural way there. to get yeah. onto the five ball. The four to the five. Content to just accept. Make sure he leaves a little bit table. of an angle there. That's nice, so he can get off the rail for the seven in the side pocket. Shouldn't pose any problems here for these guys. A bit of pace there. Yeah, he's so confident. I mean, I watched him in the practice room earlier, and he honestly make it these are four inch pockets but he just makes them look like buckets the way he shoots he's got such a straight stroke hence the name eagle eye yeah he's amazing player no issue there There's no emotion from him. And there we see oh, Alex Laley, Francisco out there, yeah, just by, by and a David Arcady in support of yeah, the players. Alex is such a brilliant, cool mind, isn't he? Oh, he is. He plays all the games, but he's been a rugby player, he's a consultant, he's so varied in his skill set. And he's a great leader to this team of players, hence he's been there for a few years now and he knows these players, he's worked with all of them before and uh, I've worked with Alex a little bit and I just love the way he teaches, he's, a, he's hard on them, he's, you know, he expects hard work, he teaches them all the aspects of the game and I think he's a fantastic captain. And they respect him, and that's what it's all about. You've got to respect your leader. And of course, on the US, Jeremy is such a great person, a former US Open champion, and they have both played in the Moscone Cup previously. And Jeremy brings a wealth of knowledge to the game too. Yeah, Jeremy's full knowledge is endless. So here we are back at the table, one to one. With Tyler Steyer, baby face killer breaking. Well, let's see, Ocean found the one in the side as you alluded to before. Steyer comes just south, the three careens into the corner, the one up top, a good look at the two. Now that's a, that's a great break too. We haven't seen much of that, have we? That wing ball going in. Let's take another look. See the three ball going in there? Nicely played too. And they're discussing navigations from the two to the pink four, Allison. Something 
Yeah, because of where the six and the eight are situated, I think they was talking about going into the four ball there to manoeuvre it off the rail. Oh, perfect speed behind it. Let's see. You gotta hit that six ball four. In the side? Yeah. Oh, you, you can hear that you can hear a. Uh, Shane's advice to play the carom here, the four into the well, six into the side pocket. The five pocket. don't go. Interesting. Roll behind the six ball. Or do you want me to follow it? So, so Tyler's they're discussing whether to play the safety or the or the carom. Just try to get right behind the six. Yeah, he's, he's talking about getting behind the six now, which I think is probably a wise shot. Because the five doesn't go in the opposite corner, where the nine is blocking the hole. So there's no gain really. Nicely done. Yeah. He was really focused on trying not to leave that back rail and covering all the other rails. You're trying to take out the no, one rail hits on yeah. these uh, kick shots. Obviously, there's a two rail kick here, but it's definitely Extension. a difficult kick because the balls are out in the open and not near to a rail. So you need a bit of lady luck here if you do hit this. Indeed. You got 30 seconds, mate. I like the way they talk about the clock there, because in doubles they cover each other. If one of them is down on the shot and not thinking and needs to call an extension, the other player normally calls it. But I think Albin is one of the best at the shot clock. I wasn't expecting him to miss that. The question is, do you go for the combo or do you just run out? I think it's a simple run out. Let's see how Shane's feeling. It does look like he might be eyeing up the combo just due to the seven, but I would agree normally we would think players of this level would just go for the run out. Indeed, just, just slide the four in past the nine. He fooled us there, didn't he? Did he did fool us. It was the angle of the camera here. Yeah, it's the right thing to do because that nine could easily be missed. And not only that, you've got the opportunity to get in to a little bit of putting practice with your partner and you're in speed control of the cloth. That's a great point. An old adage in pool sometimes let your stroke out a bit. Yeah. Gain a little momentum. Perhaps came up a touch short here. Doesn't want to be straight. It does not want to be straight. And these are the little twists and turns in the game of pool, aren't they, that make it more exciting. It can go wrong. That little millimetre or two change in the, sh the shot. Nicely said. He played that quite well because he cheated the pocket slightly there, played it at good pocket speed. Still, I, would, I think I would crisscross this, wouldn't you, two, two rails across, lower? Oh, he's oh. going inside English. I suppose it depend, depends how you're feeling a bit. It really does. Correct there. That's, to me, that's a little tentative there. He was tight in his arm because that cue ball wouldn't normally be by that rail. You know what you mean, indeed. And, and this is a bit of a tester, albeit the nine close to the pocket on Definitely. these very tight pockets. We can see how small it is from this vantage point. Let's hit it in the heart, and the crowd lets him know. Yeah, the, the, the arm is a little tight in Shane there, because if you, you could have played that twice across, but he opted to take it the safer way of the spin. But nevertheless, an out by the US, and that puts them two to one in the lead, and the crowd are going mad here. Stay close. We shall return.
Well, there it is, Allison, a little dance off. <laughs> He's going with the kind of sidestep, sort of, I'm not sure. And, and we have this as well from the American side, a bit of a shimmy, sort of shaking it out there. Yeah, a little bit of fun in between the action here. I'm not sure if I'm proud to be British with that guy dancing <laughs> like that, that. And indeed, I can say the same on my American counterpart there. <laughs> Shaw set to break. See if he finds a little something. One goes just north of the side. Yeah, he, he caught that a little bit on the thinner side, the way the cue ball reacted there. But I don't think he's left a shot. Oh, he made a ball on that play. So he, sorry, I was looking at the uh, one ball. He made a three, there you go, the wing ball. Has he left a shot for Albin or not? I don't believe so. Maybe just push the two ball safe and leave the, uh, the, the cue ball there so we can thin the one and go behind the six after it. You heard what he said there. He was, he was talking about pushing the two ball into a safe position. Always well, interesting to hear the. I don't think you can push the two ball there. Push out push considerations. Side, yeah. Well, it's a, it's kind Maybe of an like open table. Ball the cut. balls are easily made in this rack. So it's very strategic the push out. And I think he's looking at pushing the two Stand into the you. seven behind the seven. But that's a tough shot to play. And then send the cue ball down the table. Bearing in mind you might be put back in to shoot by your opponent. You see, he's pushed the two to the seven. Has he left a shot on the one? Looks quite close from our vantage point. One would have to think he didn't if he rolled the cue ball there, but does look close from the overhead. And as you said, tying up the two, a very thematic idea when it comes to pushing out. Well, the other thing is, if he can get to the two somehow, he's going to find himself snookering the opponents. He's going forward here, and that two's actually in a good position. So if he wasn't able to pocket it, there you go. three rounds behind the six. What a great shot there. I think that's what Jason was alluding to earlier, too. But that's what they play given the shot back, but Shane played that absolutely perfectly and Jason's in trouble here. But these are two great minds in Paul. Let's see what Alvin has up his sleeve. It's just, a that's a tough shot. I mean, you're no not extension. in control of anything there, are you? He's talking two rails. Very tough, even if you hit it. Indeed. What's going to happen? Oh, missed it by a hair. Oh. Hard to miss it coming underneath. Yes, absolutely. We can see Tyler looking underneath the two, which would lend credence to the idea that the seven obstructs right here. Try to hit here. playing it in that top left corner. Looks like he'll roll down underneath. Perhaps yeah. not. Well, I mean, is he going into them or is he putting Shane in a position to play a good safety? Stop the ball. Looks like the ladder, Allison. Maybe he takes on the side. They're awfully tight from this vantage point. No, he's, look, the way he's addressing it, he looks like he's going for the snooker here. That he is. It's the right shot to play in this, in this situation, rather than try to be the hero. You don't need to be at that point. That was an easy snooker, and it's a tough one to get out of, because he can't get to that side and end round, I don't believe. About 20 seconds. So he's looking at, if he's coming to this end, he's looking at a three rail shot, possibly to go behind the two off that end rail. Quick glance at the clock. Yeah, possible to make the nine in the side, you never know. Crazy shot, but doable. Beautiful contact there. Two coming towards the corner, doesn't go, and a great look for the Americans to extend the lead here. Well, that paid off, didn't it, that safety shot? Tyler's a little struggling to get in 
to rhythm a little bit here as far as putting the ball where he wants to put it. It just looks a little tight. And the shot's a bit tougher than it looks, isn't it, Alison? I think for Shane it's not a problem. Well, look at that. We've seen a lot of missed balls in the side pockets thus far. Yeah, these side pockets are brutal. They're four and a half inches. Normally, I think they're five. So it does play on the mind a little bit, I'm sure. But I wasn't expecting Shane to miss that. Indeed, neither was I. This looks possibly a hair tricky. The eight might obstruct natural position. Just have to find a way to the green six. Oh, you see the way he checked that up? He used a little bit of right hand spin there on the cue ball and straightened the cue ball out off that second rail. Nicely played. And that's allowed them to take the opportunity and get into a little bit of a rhythm here. See how left eye dominant oh. Albin is there. Oh uh, yeah, it's interesting. I'm watching the way they all address the ball as well when they get down in the shot. There's not a lot of movement in the feet. They stand square. Sort of cut from your cloth a bit, the snooker style, at least as far as Shaw. I think the game has changed a lot. It's evolving all the time. 2-2. Two -two. That was a big rack that uh, USA gave back to Europe there, I would say. Spaniards come out. See the seven ball. It came half, half ball came up again. Seven almost jumped out of the pocket again. I love the camaraderie of this team event. Everyone getting behind their players. See Woodward out there talking to the boys, indeed. Yep. The captains come out. Just give them a little word of advice here and there. here as well, Allison. Not just, not just the Americans. You can hear the Europeans getting a, a bit rowdy here in Vegas. You know, got the World Cup going on as well. This is quite a crowd. Forgive the obvious. Van Boning set to break. Yeah, they need to gain some momentum back here. Let's see what Shane can do on this break. The one cooperates, cross corner, a look at the two, the blue in the center of the table. It's given Tyler a nice shot to get to the three. He's got a little bit of angle. This is the big shot of the rack here. Nicely played, confidently played. Nicely executed, and here we got Shane. See, he can just find that gap there for the four ball into the corner pocket. <laughs> if he can get to that, then they'd only have to roll that in to get to the five. Indeed, the gap Allison's referring to between the eight and the nine onto the pink four. One, two out into the center of the table. Very nicely done. 
Saw that little point from Shane there where he'd like it. <laughs> yeah, right here. I, I think this time he doesn't want an angle. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> that was nicely played. What do you want? It's a nice little drag shot with a little bit of outside English spot. there. Fuck, it's tough to create an left spin. Somewhere like that. Shane immediately asking Tyler, where do you want it? Well, it's a very personal preference here as to whether you want more angle or less angle. And again, we've talked about earlier, it depends how people feel. I think in these conditions, you want to play less rails as possible. So slippery out. Nicely struck there. Yeah, that was a really nice shot. He's, he's giving Shane a nice angle there. Maybe a touch awkward. The side pocket might come into play if you're dragging it across. I this vantage point doesn't look like it. Yeah, we could go either way here. Navigated from the Americans. Yeah, it's just what they needed to get ahead here. Oh, used the whole pocket there, Allison. He, he liked it back there for about three-two USA. He's keeping it exciting. Wow, but we've seen this a few times today. These these pockets are, you know. Tight side. You can't take anything for granted out there. A bit of relief, I'm sure, there. And you do tend to notice great players when they bobble the ball. The, the ball goes in a bit more for them than it does for, for us <laughs> sort of regular players. Just the spin you guys put on the shots, the stroke. Sometimes you can stroke. Jeremy told me that a while ago. You do a lot and a, a skid as well. Jeremy told me sometimes it's the stroke. Shane has such a pure stroke. Had enough spin to kind of nestle it back and forth and get in there where the everyday player, that, that nine ball's hanging up. True, there's, there's spin and there's speed, isn't there? We've got Marcel Eckert there, the referee. Very experienced, both in snooker and in pool. And uh, I don't envy the referees, I have to say. It's not no. an easy job, is it? No, it isn't. They tend to only get blamed, really, and, and you know. <laughs> yeah. But they've signed up for it. I like, personally, to see them racking the balls the way the way it was for many years. Of course, the, the set racks and, yeah. and so on are interesting as well. Yeah, the game has gone so many different ways, hasn't it? So we've got Albin up now, breaking for Europe, Albin Ocean. This is a big game, isn't it? Very much so. Here we go, that one in the side. They're really mastering that shot, yeah. aren't they? But he hasn't got a shot on the two, I don't believe. Unless, unless Eagle Eye can squeeze it through there. Yeah, he kind of he ran to the table, if you will. Yeah, he can see it. Look at him. You can see he's putting high left on that. He caught the three. Watch out. He didn't want to catch a three, did he? Doesn't seem very phased by it, though, does he? No, neither does Albin, but a lot of green in between, as they say. Tough one here. Extension. And position from the red three to the purple five is not automatic. The seven can come into play. Oh, 
really got to cue this well. Listen, steady, stay properly still. Great. Wow, he made that look very easy, didn't he? Indeed he did. That's what makes some champions. The foundation, the mechanics, the years of practice and dedication. And all for moments like this. Well said, Allison. Bit awkward here, a little straighter than he would have liked. Yeah, I think so. They're, they're not quite gelling at the moment, are they, positionally? Having to come with some trickier shots than necessary. Shot, buddy. Oh, nicely done there. He hits those slow Connie drag type it, strokes yeah. so well. He's Alvin. so reliable, isn't he? A touch short of the mark there. Yeah, he's not. He's not feeling it, is he? At the moment. I guess it was a bit less steep than it looks from the overhead. Three-three, yeah. Allison. Break and run. Indeed, it was. Going to cut to a short break. Be back. Final match of the evening here.
Nice look at the strip there, Allison. We're in the desert. Las Vegas, Nevada. Hopefully the players don't get too lost into the night post-play. They're professionals, but you know, Vegas, from time <laughs> to time, can get the best of anybody. Yeah, let's hope those uh, captains are putting them to bed early. Yeah, Making think, them play on that practice table. I think that's the plan. Steyer set to break. Hill Hill in our last match between Woodward and Filler might have another one upon us. Makes it all exciting. Will be decided within three racks. One in the side, six in the side. What do you see here, Allison? Well, I don't see a make on the two. Um, you can't cross bank it because the, so the three and the four seem to block that pocket. So a good safety shot might be in order here. Can't make it in the corner, can't slide it into the corner. Double bank behind the line. So. Ooh, good shot. Good shot. Oh, that's nice. Nicely played. Yeah, well, a there. little too hard. He's not going to be happy with that. Although banking on this table is a lot more difficult, being tighter pockets, so that's a saving grace. Nothing strikes me as overly comfortable off the bat as far as the European navigations here. No, I don't think so either. Do you go for it? I mean, do you go for that bank or? Well, the old adage is if the safety is as hard as the shot, play the shot, but. I'm with you there because if it's a 50-50, I'm all absolutely going 25, for 25, yeah, I think thinning it and trying to bring it back to the middle. Just make sure you get the cue ball down here, you know what I mean? Yeah, they're looking That's at a safety. Seconds, um, we could hear him saying thin off the right side. If he can use the two, if he can use that five ball, he, th he does cut it and covers it with the five and brings the cue ball back down by the eight or nine here. Let's see. Oh, okay. He may have just gotten him on the brown seven or perhaps not. Looks yeah, close from was, here. Uh, sort of a two-way shot there, wasn't it? To slow the cue ball down. Okay, the the two was a bit dangerous, kind of wasn't it? The two yeah, it was, was a tough dangerous. leave. Shane left him in a, in a very just precarious spot. Nothing was easy, as we discussed. Can Tyler see the two to make it? That's what I'm wondering. He's eyeing it up, isn't he? Like he can. It's a big, massive shot if he can. If he can get this and get to the three ball. The, the pink four is yeah. looming. Yeah, that's the tricky part, isn't it? Swinging at this, let's see. Oh, what a great shot! That, that, was. that to that me was, was one of the shots of the day. Absolutely. That was a beautiful stroke, nicely timed, perfect speed, out of the there. pocket. Did that too. He needed a shot like that just the to let his arm out. Oh, yeah. Sometimes when you're playing all those touchy shots, it just gets you tighter and tighter. And that was a real let your stroke out shot. Played to perfection. That spin on that ball. Just gorgeous, really. This will put the heat on Europe. He didn't really want to be straight. Let's see where he is on that. But nevertheless, it shouldn't pose a problem to finish out this rack. Right, though, he does have to show that class again. I really like his mechanics and his setup for the shots. Great fundamentals, Tyler. Works hard at the game. 
always hitting balls. As you said, Shane a bit more flowy, mixes up his stances, his stroke, or Tyler a bit more steady. And they will get the job done. Hundred percent in every shot. Part of the pocket. The crowd goes nuts, Allison. Look at it. I love it. I love Vegas. I love the <laughs> US fans. Look at the team coming out, pumping them up. Four to three. USA lead Europe. Well, that gentleman next to the flag is a. <laughs> maybe he can get in the next dance. Uh, <laughs> Dance off there, and, and I yeah. don't know what's that—the one-handed dance there. Yeah, the one-handed kind of, you know, the jig. The wax on, wax off. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant atmosphere here. It's hard to really put into words how raucous this crowd is. I know you all feel it at home, but it's incredibly loud in here. Allison and I can hardly hear each other. We have this gentleman. I mean, he's enjoying himself, clearly. And next to him sitting there is one of the greatest instructors in America, Jerry Bryce. Eh? Beautiful. Just recently inducted into the Wisconsin, no, sorry, in the Hall of Fame I saw him at, but the BCA Hall of Fame. Congratulations, Jerry. Wonderful to see him. He comes here every year, loves Paul been serving the pool community for many, many years. Well, that says it all, Allison. Indeed they are. Look at that, USA on the hill, leading four to three. Europe under pressure. Marcel sorting out the rack there in front of us. Another big point that they're playing for. If the USA could snag this, it would put them three to one ahead on day one. You know, it's all fun and games at the press conference, isn't it? But when you're out here, it becomes all business. Well said. Right about that. And uh, Jason and, and the gents have, have some strong words to, to back up. You know, they basically said they were going to win easy, not miss a ball. As it stands now, USA up 2-1 to one points wise and on the verge of making it 3-1, to one, albeit a lot can happen in this match still. Jason's set to break. seen that a lot in these last two sets that we've seen. This is a bit tricky here, Alison. It's a bit fiddly to navigate between the balls. There's lots, there's options okay. here, isn't there? There's coming a crisscross where he's pointing. I think they've got to go for it. I would say it's just a draw. I don't think you need a lot of spin because you've got to avoid that eight ball. He's great at these shots, though, Shane. Avoid the eight ball. As you said, he does just nick it and nicks it right behind the green six, the cue ball, that is. Well prophesized from Allison there. The eight ball is the key ball to avoid on that crisscross. Pocketed nicely, but Tyler nice finds himself ball. safe. Swing at it. Swing at it. Tough, isn't it? It's a tough pill to swallow when that happens. Indeed. Oh. You know, it's there for you, and it's just that one ball that gets in the way that makes all the difference. Still, this is makeable. Tough, but makeable. I think we heard Shane say straight away to have a swing at it. Why not, right? It's hard to get a safety out of it, so got to go all in. Well, he did 
did swing it in. You know what? He, he didn't come out too badly there. He hasn't left an open pocket or an obvious pocket. I'd take that all day long. It's like he'll just cross bank it upstairs towards the middle of the top rail. Keep an eye on the cue ball. Tricky shot. Oh, he hit it more thickly. That's really nicely done. That was beautiful because he was in control. Well, he's obviously controlled both balls, which was very difficult, but he made sure he had control of the cue ball more than anything there. Great shot. That's really nice. I think just crisscrossing it, there wasn't, you know, if he'd done it a lot thicker, there wasn't really any safety for either ball. So he really played the cue ball there, and it just so happens a two ball has left it tricky too. Very, very nice shot. All about speed. So we see Shane eyeing it up. That was a great shot from Alden. <laughs> wow, so near. And yet so far. Millimeters, but not sure he played that, but I'm, so, I'm sure he would have taken it if it had dropped. Man. Oh, that's a, that's a great overhead shot, isn't it, to see? Well, that's changed everything, isn't it, in this rack? Follow it, follow it down, yeah, then I'll drop the inside. They're definitely not settled. When you look at the faces of the players, I've, you know, when I observe a lot of the, the facial, a bit tense. Yeah, I, Jason definitely looks a little tense. And you would be, because obviously it's a, it's a big point. Um, but I've watched him come out in the years before, and there's like the gladiator look. I know what you mean. The face does give a lot away, as you know. Yeah, but poker face. Yeah. But again, you know, it's, it, singles is a different game to doubles and teams too. It, it very much is. There is almost less pressure in singles in a way. Well, you're also in control of everything right. you do. You're not thinking about your partner and where they want you and what they can do, what their strengths and weaknesses are. With that said, they're set up. Fairly nicely here. He'll try to control the cue ball from the purple five to the green six. It's come up a little short of yeah. the mark here, Allison. Yeah. But with Jason's stroke, I, I don't doubt that this will be pumped in and straight across the table here. Such a great stroke. Indeed. No issue there. You never see his arm tighten up like some players and you know in a stressful situation she's just got to stun this ball down a little angle from Albin there watch out I want to get too close to that rail of course we have Albin Ocean here but yeah, I'm not worried about how this is. But I like the time he takes in the setup. Don't take anything for granted. And another Hill Hill match is upon us. And quite fitting, I would say. So here we see the captains and other players in the team coming to pump up their players, keep them in it, keep them present. I do believe it's a USA break in next. Yep, we see Coach Jones and Lely in the foreground. Yeah, they cut that in. Having a seat. I think frozen or like, Ooh. Jesus. Well, Tyler and uh, Shane are having a little chat there. They look a little more light-hearted, whereas Albin and Jason are quite serious. Good here. You never know what 
chains thing can do. It's very true. <laughs> Very stoic over there in the European corner. Not usually the way we're used to seeing Jason Shaw, is it? As you said, doubles versus singles. Maybe he'll let his hair down a little in the singles and kind of do his thing. SVB set to break. The crowd's chanting. Here we go. It's no bigger than this. 4-4 four, four, race to five. USA 2-1 to one on the points. Favorite a combination of the time here, Madison. I like. Up and down, and the one gonna go. Well, the combo's good in the sense of sending the cue ball up and down the table, getting a shot on the one. But the carom, on the other hand, is it might be harder to control the one ball. Easy to make the five, but so he's looking at. I will cut the one. Okay. the one in. They're both in opposite camps here of what to do. Beautiful shot, really. Rail first into the purple five, leaves the one home. Yeah, I like that shot. That was a great shot. But it's quite interesting when you listen, isn't it? The different strategies of players. Six ball, right here. What they prefer. Absolutely. Yeah. He's looking at leaving an angle on the pink four where he's standing now to be able to come one, two, three rails around for the green six in the side. As directed by Shane, which is what Shane wanted because it's quite a natural shot, isn't it? To come one, two, three, possibly four rails up for that six in the side pocket. It's all about angles and uh, it's interesting how they think it through. The minds of these champions being on the right side of everything. There you go. So he could let his stroke out, knowing that it's a perfect shot. Beautifully done. Nice call, Allison, in regards to the fourth rail being utilized. They're eyeing up position on the 7 8. Hill Hill action here. And I love. Uh, the fact that Shane's playing the combo here is so good at these. Indeed he is. And this is a chance for him to leave the seven in place, take a shot at 17. There it is. Not over yet, two balls left. Massive point for America. Makes it much more exciting. Shane comes in to play the nine ball on the side. The same side he missed that pink four. Don't, Don't talk Forget about that, Nick. Don't talk about that. That's gone. That's passed. And what a huge pickup for the Americans, up three to one now in points. And you could see the emotion there from SVB. What a match. And Tyler, look at what a great match for Tyler. Look at this crowd. They're chanting. Well, it was an absolute pleasure, Allison. Thank you, Nick. I Last really enjoyed it. Likewise, hope you all did as well. And, it's going to be uh, a good one.
We'll, we'll be back tomorrow. USA leading three to one, day one. Wow, what an end to what has been a brilliant first session at this year's Moscone Cup. Shane Van Boney and Tyler Steyer. Well, they're soaking it all in, loving every single moment. They have raised the roof here at Bally's in Las Vegas. What an end! And if you predicted that score, well done. And you're probably American as well. But they are loving every single minute of it. Let's just show you the story of the day.